Hey guys, welcome to your 24th tutorial on C. In this tutorial, we learn on pointers and arrays. Uh, if you are not clear with the concept of pointers, please do see my previous tutorials on pointers. Okay, so uh, firstly, I'll start with one dimensional array that's 1D array. Uh, suppose I have an array A of size 10 and I want to access the fourth element that is uh, A of 3. So, how can I access using a pointer? It would be something like this star of a plus 3 a would give me the base address and plus 3 that is 3 elements after the base address uh, it would be much much clear with uh, uh, with the next picture okay so in memory array is uh, stored in contiguous memory blocks as in the first element of the array is stored suppose I stored at location 7000 the second would be at 7004 uh, I am assuming that a size of int is 4 bytes and the corresponding elements would be uh, stored at 7008 uh, 7012 and so on so now I want to access a of 3 that a of 3 will be a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 and this would be a of 3 so a of 3 is 11 so as I said that uh, a would return me the base address of the array that is 7000 so you might think that 7000 plus 3 will, would give me 7003 so how could I access the third ele uh, third element or the fourth element of my, of the array so yeah, uh, in this case, it sees that A is an array and it's an integer array and the size of int is 4. So what it does, it incre uh, it multiplies 3 by 4, that's 12. And then adds to the base address. So 7000 plus 12 gives me 7012. So in simpler terms, you could think, uh, think, think in this way that A would give me, star of A would give me 7000 star of a plus 1 would give me seven, uh, this 78 a plus 2 would give me uh, 7 and a star of a plus 3 would give me 11 in this way the pointers and arrays could be used interchangeably uh, actually this notation a of 3 is just for our understanding the machine always converts this to a pointer that is star of a plus 3 and then uh, carries the processing ok I'll uh, quickly give you a small example uh, here's my main method I'll have an array and ok I'll create a static array here with elements 1, 4, 2, 7, 5 and so on ok I'll just print the elements of the array using uh, pointers I won't use a of other notations a of 0, ar of 0, ar of 1 and so on uh, ok so this is my for loop for i is equal to 0 i less than how many elements are there 6 ok 6 and i plus plus ok so i will just write printf percentage g i will leave some space and as i said star of it would be arr of ok a star of arr plus i so let's run execute a code compile and run ah we are getting the elements of the array 1 4 5 2 0 ok so what's happening here is uh, this arr would give me the base address plus i as in for the first time it would be arr plus 0 then arr plus 1 arr plus 2 and so on so we get all the elements of the array so let's see how the same thing could be done for 2D arrays. Again I have an array A, uh, suppose of size uh, 5 by 5 5 by 5 matrix. I want to access the and I want to access the element A of 3, 2. So its corresponding pointer notation would be star of A plus 3 plus 2 the whole star. So you can imagine this as a two, uh, matrix, a 2D matrix where A plus 3 would move the pointer to the to the fourth row and plus 2 would uh, move the pointer to the corresponding third column so in short you are moving to the uh, fourth row and the third column uh, like 1D arrays, 2D arrays are also placed in memory in contiguous memory blocks so suppose the array starts with a memory location 7000 so the 0, 0, 0,0th element that is 16 is present, uh, present at memory location 7000 the next would be present at 7004 so these three are the elements of my first row then the elements of my second row are present that is a of 1 comma 0 1 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 
then the elements of the third row are present okay uh, so entire thing is present in a uh, continuous memory uh, memory block okay so let's see a simple example like we saw in 1d array okay instead of 1d array i'll make a 2d array here and okay so suppose my elements are like one two three okay so i'll have one comma two uh, three comma four uh, five comma six uh, i got an extra bracket here okay again i'll print the elements of the array using point uh using pointer notation so as you know that for printing a 2d array i just need two for loops instead of one so i'll have for i is equal to zero i less than three in this case i plus plus and for j is equal to zero j less than two j plus plus uh, here i goes from zero to three and j goes from zero to two that is i have a matrix of uh, 3 by 2 matrix okay so I'll print the elements print f percentage d and I'll leave some spaces yeah and okay the point of notation star of uh, outer bracket again a star and then a bracket okay in my inner bracket I'll have arr plus i that is movement of rows and outside that I'll have plus j for the movement of columns okay after printing the row I'll just print a new line backslash n okay so let's execute a code and see ah uh, it's giving me an error okay yeah we can't write this way we need to specify the number of columns here as in we are working with two dimensional arrays you could write something like this arr of blank and 2 or 3 by 3 comma 2 both are fine so let's see what a file okay yeah the elements of the array are being printed here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so let's see what's actually happening in this example initially the value of both i and j are 0 uh, so we get star of arr plus 0 and plus 0 the whole star which means arr of 0, by, uh, 0, 0 that is the first element of my array that is 1 then the value of j is incremented by 1 we get arr of 0, 1 that is uh, 2 similarly all the elements of the array are being printed uh, I know this tutorial is a bit confusing uh, but don't worry we won't use this pointer notation in, my in our further tutorials and you won't use in your programming as well you would simply use arr of 0, 0, arr of 0, 1 but just for knowledge i share this uh share this uh yeah so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video do write in the comment section if you have any doubt doubts uh thank you